Hello, hello, and welcome to another whiskey review with me, the old whiskey novice. Thank you for joining me for review number 141, or re-review part two. I've decided to do a couple of re-reviews. I mentioned in my last review that in my first 19, before I was doing all this sort of uh, regalia, that I had reviewed some 10-year-old single malt scotches that I wanted to go back and look at again. I felt it was time because they'll have changed a bit. But it's not the whiskey that's sort of on test. It's not the whiskey that I'm I'm testing necessarily here. It's more my palate that I'm testing. I wanted to see how much my palate had changed. And this one actually, Ardbeg 10 year old, is probably a, a good example of testing my palate rather than the whiskey itself. This is not the bottle I reviewed in late 2019, but this is still an older, but this is from 2018, believe it or not. And whenever I looked up, the, whenever I actually checked the bottle, this is actually a 2018 bottling, which was surprised at. So it's not really, we're not gonna be looking at batch variation in this case. This is more so about how my palate has changed and what I think of this whiskey now. Because I'm not suggesting the whiskey, as I, as I already, I suppose I've already said, I'm repeating myself here, but I'm not suggesting that that whiskey has changed an awful lot. I don't know how much Hardbeg has changed in that time, but I do know that my palate has changed that much, I'm sure of. Hardbeg 10, Isla, sort of classic, isn't it? It is sort of classic now. It, it would sort of... Well, I could sort of easily say that it'd be my favourite for the Ardbeg range. It's it's approachable. It's easy to get. Uh, retails around the 40 to... Usually around the £45 mark. I say that, which I think is a good enough price. It's 46, bought at 46%. Non-chill filtered. Is the colour added? <sighs> Nobody knows. Well, somebody does know, but... They certainly don't mention it in the ball. If they are adding colour, I don't see the point. That that for a ten year old whiskey is um is a good colour. Heavily peated. Alright? That much we know. It is heavily peated. It's what I is known for. It's what a hard bag is known for. So I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna mention words that just sum up hard bag ten pretty much for me. Burnt out, mossy, damp wood bonfire. There. There's a bit of word association for you. <laughs> uh, the, but that's that's our bag. And that's what I get at first. That's where the that's where the, the smokiness is in it. That's the peat in, the peat malt influence. Gives me all that smoky. If you let this settle in your glass and don't go near it, you go in, it would nearly turn you. It's so smoky. And such an old, mossy, dirtiness of it. But when you refresh it, when you when it starts to... When you can cut underneath all that smokiness, that's whenever Ardbeg comes to life. You have to peel back the layers of Ardbeg 10-year-old. I feel because there's a mixture of all those peak notes, smoke notes and other things and that mixture just sort of goes up and down and up and down so you get beyond that first hint of uh, wet bonfire burnt out smokiness lemon zest weirdly it's, it's, it's bright, it's fresh and then you come back down to hot tar because it is, it's that smell of hot tarmac, a hot day, and you can smell it in the background. It's malty. Yes. And then it's lit, a little up, autumnal dry leaves. You hang around in that, you get barbecued burnt ends. You get bell pepper, freshly cut bell pepper. 
I would never, weirdly, I would never claim to find the medicinal notes in Ardbeg. A lot of people in the thing about peanut whiskey, they, they go down that path of band-aids, TCP, iodine, and all that. And I, I always try to avoid it, but sometimes you can't. Sometimes it's just there. I don't find it in Ardbeg. Ardbeg for me, Ardbeg 10 particularly, is all about smoke. It's all about the way that peat smoke in the process of drying the malt has infiltrated the malt and, and just and just infused it and it's I give credit to Ardbeg uh, for the way that it's been treated for the way the malt has been treated and for the whiskey that they've created here but this is all about smoke and nature for me natural products like lemon and so, so all that medicinal things stripped away smoke and as I said lemon zest and barbecue etc so that's all in the nose let's get into the palate it's a round bittersweet delivery smoky yet again that smoke burnt end barbecue yeah sweet not here that I remember. I'm getting. I don't remember finding this nutty before. But I think, well, I say before, even when I did my tasting notes, I found it nutty, uh, like peanut butter, almost. The palate. Fresher than the nose would even suggest. Because of that dirty smoke, that dirty, dank, wet, damp, uh, burnt out thing that I said about. The, the, the palate is fresher. I'm getting hints of lemon and lime, orange. It's, it's citrus. It's clean. Sea, sea shells. Apricot, it's, it's the same as the nose where for every hint of fruit, there's something weirdly smoky or coastal. So it, it, it keeps doing this thing where you'll find fresh, but coastal smokies you know but it's great it works well it balances itself out and and then it starts to run off into i'm going to say clove rock we we i don't know how you how you international this thing clove rock it's it's clove but it's it's a candy it's a hard boiled candy finish long it is it just i mean You'll be talking about this. I'm talking about this now. Blah, 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 blah. What can I taste? Smoke. Smoke, 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 smoke. And digestive biscuit, malt. The freshness tends to peter off in it. Uh, you know, you lose any of that. All of that freshness is in the moment. It's in the nose on the moment. It's in the palate on the moment. As the finish starts to fade off, it's... It's, you lose that freshness. It's all about the smoke, but you are going to remember this. Yeah, you really are. Mm. But definitely, all, most, or I was going to say all, most of that fresh fruit, sweetness, etc., is in the, uh, the palate. I would, I would suggest that that's where it plays at its best. It's, it's a good one. Like, it really is a good one. It, it doesn't lose it either. The, the addition of water, it's liquid smoke. It's yet again, the first thing you get, just smoke. But now, rather than it being boggy, dirty, wet, damp, burnt out smoke it becomes cleaner it's good dry bone dry wood or kindling there's some candied fruit 
once again hints of apricot which I was getting in the palette earlier on and or orange but it's it's bizarre how it goes from just that touch of water it goes from feeling damp dank and dirty to being much drier smoke palette cleaner sharper barley sugar apricot once again still smoky but I, I just I love heavily peated whiskies like this especially when you can put the medicinal thing away where the peat has had that much of an influence that it just becomes smoky this is a, a prime prime example there are others it's a prime example finish still long still memorable yeah oh yeah not so smoky becomes the finish becomes more about the sweet notes now so that addition of water does help for a, a because it, you could get bogged down in the smoke with the finish so i i would suggest a drop of water in this 46 percent it can cope with it if, you, if you're new to whiskey and you're not a big fan of, don't don't go down this path if, you, if you're not a big fan of peat work your way up to it find something that'll, that'll break you in it's a peat beast but it's a smoky peat beast in my opinion and one of the one of the best examples of a smoky peat beast I'll never I don't think, unless they, they triple the price, I don't think I'll ever not have our bag ten in my in my cabinet somewhere. It's just for me a very very good, and the longer now I'm at this, the longer now I'm starting to get and that sweetness of the the spirit. It's you can tell that that's the new make starting to push its way through behind the smoke and it's good so we'll leave it at that and just move on to this so almost once again if our big tens that good what do i offer as a as an alternative if you like this i would actually recommend to you and it's another it's another Isla, but it's one that I think, yet again, smoky, clean, not medicinal, uh, sweet, fruity, Kalila 18. I know it's, it's, you know, it's probably more over manufactured, I don't know, but to me, it's another good example of a very, very hard to find. And in my opinion, once again, it's hard to find something like Ardbeg 10 out there that, that's still not just, it just doesn't become this smoky animal that, that's just about smoke and moss, etc. And I think Kalili 18 is a good example of something that's subtle, well-made, still you know well only bought at 43 percent it's diageo there'll be there'll be color at it it's chill filtered etc but it's a good whiskey it is a good whiskey and uh one that if our big 10 you, you've you've enjoyed our big 10 you've enjoyed that smokiness you've enjoyed that fruity thing and you're looking somewhere to head next i'm going to suggest Clearly 18 to you. It is it is a sort of hard thing to to suggest something. Ardbeg 10 is a bit of a powerhouse. But there are others out there which which will work 
and that same sort of group. Mm. I'm glad I re-reviewed this. I, and I will probably... Well, will I? You know, there's only so far your palate can go with these things in that would I say that Art Bag 10 is going to change an awful lot? I don't think it will. I, I wouldn't imagine it will that'll change an awful lot over the years. Will my palate change regarding Art Bag things like Art Bag 10 where they're so bold and they stand out so much? I don't know. I don't know. I will keep one in my my cabinet at all times and just for the purposes of uh, testing, etc., I will I will keep going back to it. But uh, I don't think our big ten will change that much. I don't know that my palate will change that much, that much, where our big ten is concerned. It's a good one, and I would recommend it to peak fans. So we'll leave it at that. Leave it at that. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much to my patrons. If you wish to join my patronage. The details are in the video description below. Till the next time, my friends. Here's your good health. Cheers. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Please click and subscribe to be notified of further content.